So I want to share a little something I've been working on. We'll call it kind of a prerequisite for some stuff coming up. Basically, how do we actually measure the reach and the stack on a bike? So we already know the frame reach and the frame stack. And then if we know our handlebar setup, we can, you know, add the two together and extrapolate. But I think I've got an easier way to do it and we don't have to take the bike apart. So this is one of the ways that I used to do it. Basically just a drywall square and a level that I would balance on the seat and then across the top of the handlebars. And it kind of worked, <laughs> but it was very difficult to set up and it took forever and lots of room for, for error in this setup. So let me show you, let me show you the new way that I've come up with. So to make this idea work, all you need are two clamps big enough to fit over your grips, a piece of string or a nice straight piece of wire, and then you need to set the bike up on a level flat surface. Since this is a hardtail, we also need to set our sag because again we're measuring it as the bike gets used, you know, while we're riding it. And so one of the easiest ways I've found to do that is actually I just come over here and let the air out of my fork and then play with it until you get it just right. Now one thing I've found that helps when you're setting up your sag is this is just a pedal strap off of the bike that I used to have. And you can just put it around your fork like this and tighten it up to help hold it in the right spot. And then you can, you know, my fork doesn't have the marks on it, but from here you can measure it out and make sure it's exactly where you need to have it. All right, so if you want to just verify your frame reach and frame stack, you can skip this step and just measure right off of the frame there. But since we're gonna measure where we actually interact with the bike, here's how we can give ourselves a point to measure to. I'm just gonna take this piece of string and then place it right directly on top of the grip here, all the way out at the end of it. I'm gonna come across, pull it tight, and then do the same thing. So now, if you think about it, this string is projecting the top of our grips and the center line of the grips back to give us a point where we can measure off of. And then from here, we just grab a tape measure so we've got everything set up here. We have the bike on flat and level ground. We have our fork sag set to where we want it. And we have this string laid across the top of our grips to give us a point to measure off of. So now we only need to do four measurements. So we measure the vertical distance between the ground and the bottom of this string. We measure our bottom bracket height and then we measure the diagonal distance between those two. And from there, it's just, we're solving the triangle. That's all this is, you know, basic trigonometry. And I've also factored in, because this string is on top of the grips, I've also factored that into the spreadsheet. So all you have to do is know the diameter of your grips. And then that's everything we need. So here we are back on my computer with another quick and dirty little spreadsheet that I made. Again, this will be in the description so you can grab a copy of it and do with as you like. But basically once we get our measurements, all we got to do is plug them in here and then it'll spit out our reach and stack for us. So in my case, the bottom bracket height was 300. The top of the grip height, remember that was the string across our handlebars, in this case the bottom of the string, but it was 1025. The grip diameter for me is 35, and the spread distance, that's what I called the diagonal measurement between the bottom bracket and the string that we set up. And in my case, that was 905. And so we do that, and you see it spits the numbers right out for us. And you'll notice over here, the stuff I have grayed out. I left it here, so if you wanna check it out, you certainly can. But basically all this is doing is it's since we measured the top of the grips 
but what we actually care about is the center of the grips. I just accounted for that, so I made it easier to measure, and then we're just using the math to account for it. So we take the top of our grip height, we subtract the bottom bracket, and then half the grip diameter, and that gives us our stack measurement. And then from there, we also accounted for it in the spread distance, because as you come down, the angle of it changes and the length gets slightly shorter. So all that's accounted for, and again, spits it right out for you, trying to reduce as much error as possible and make it easy to measure. And if you're going to use this to measure your frame, all you have to do is just put in a zero for grip diameter. And if you notice over here, the adjusted angles just don't change because it's zero. So it's simple as that. And that's all for this. Like I said, this is kind of a prerequisite for some other stuff coming up. And it's useful to be able to measure your own bike to check out your setups and you know, stem length and handlebar rise and make sure it's where you want it. And then also, you know, measuring other people's bikes and keeping everything in line that way. So thanks for checking it out.